Okay, this is how to do, um, how I'm going to scissor little Reno's legs here. I've already taken his body with the seven blade. I've done his head and face. And I've taken his legs in a three and three quarters. Now, um, I've already clipped his toenails and everything like that. So all I need to do is comb all the hair on his paw down straight and scissor around the paw. You want to use your toenails. You don't want to cut the toenail with the scissors, obviously. But you don't want to go any further or cut any shorter than the toenail is. You want, you want that to not show, basically. I like flipping the paw upside down and looking at it from that angle. It just makes it a lot easier. You can see when you're done, it makes a cute little paw. And from there, I'm going to fluff his little leg up and just scissor the excess, what sticks out past the, the whole little leg, and scissor down straight. I use a curved shear for just about everything I do, but for some people using a straight a straight shear is, is easier. You fluff everything up and scissor down. You never want to cut straight across the fur. You never want to cut up. You just cut down and shape the leg. Around the bottom, you can take it around the side like this to kind of give the back end a, pe a bevel or even the front if it didn't get all the way scissored when you were doing it underneath, if you missed a hair or something. Okay, for the inside, there are a few ways you can do it. Um, I don't really prefer this method, but you can comb it down like that and scissor up like that. I just said not to scissor up, but this is a little different. I don't prefer that though. I prefer to, to do it just the way I do everything else and scissor down. But it's, it's all in how you're comfortable maneuvering. And I can scissor upside down. I, don't, I can scissor in all different kinds of crazy ways. So to me, it's comfortable just to do it that way. when you have a very nice little boy like Reno to work on because he's just awesome. Yeah, he's just an awesome boy. Okay, now I'm going to do this back leg. Do the same thing. He's going to get lazy on me. He yes, you're good, ma'am. You're fine. <clears throat> and do the same thing. Comb everything down. As I scissor around the paw. Use kind of a gentle touch because every once in a while you will get a toenail in between your scissors and you don't want to clamp on that because that's going to hurt the dog and your scissors and it's just not good for anyone if you cut on the toenail. Especially since it's already been cut and chances are if I snapped on it with the scissors I'd be cutting it too short and scissors will cut a toenail if they're sharp, if they're good sharp scissors. It will at least cut into a toenail. So you need to be careful when scissoring. Now I do the same thing on, on the back legs, so I do on the front legs. And since this is a, a spot here that went from a really short blade to a longer blade, there's a spot here that kind of sticks out funny. And for that, I turn my scissors upside down, however is more comfortable for you and I just gently scissor over that to blend it just like that or if you prefer using thinning shears you can do that as well you can just fluff it up and you can you can use thinning shears at pretty much any angle they're not like scissors where you don't want to use them up and down or back and forth because they don't make such a blunt cut, you can't really discern which direction they were in when they made the cut. So 
you just don't stay in one spot for too long because you'll create a hole. <laughs> Be very careful of that. And then I told you before that he doesn't have a tail at all. Like, literally, no tail. So what I do is I kind of create one with fur. And with my thinners, I just round it out to make it look like he has a little nubby, little nubby tail back there. Something to cover his, his, his name and address back there. <laughs> okay, so, see here? He, he doesn't have a tail, but it appears like he does, just to cover, you know, area, areas that not everybody really likes to see all the time. <laughs> okay, back to the lake. Hand up, Booker. He's getting worn out on me, I think. Scissor down, just to round out. On the back leg, you don't just go straight. You stay with the, the shape of the leg. Because their back legs are curved. So you want to curve the fur along with the leg. Then show their, their leg structure in there. Pull everything up and out. And once you've done it once, do it again. And if there's something else sticking out, then scissor down it again. You know, it takes it takes time. A lot of people don't understand that. But grooming is very time consuming, especially when you get into the long coated hand scissor bichons and poodles and stuff like that. It's very, very time consuming and it can be very stressful depending on the dog. <clears throat> Reno is awesome though, and he doesn't cause me any problems. Here, yeah. I keep forgetting that you guys are over here. So I scissor up, watch the family jewels for crying out loud, and scissor down. Trying to create a nice, shapely little egg. Nothing sticking out. Oh yes, I know, pretty family jewels on TV. And the camera. Sorry. Watch out for the jewels. You don't want a neutering today. <laughs> he says, what? No. <laughs> How funny. Okay. Now, to get the inside of his front leg over here, I'll lift his bum up so I'll show you. <clears throat> I comb it up. And then I take in at an angle here, I don't know if you can see that or not, and scissor down, just like I've been doing all along. <clears throat> but for me, when I started grooming, that was a really hard spot to get to. And if you can get in there like that, then it really helps. Some people can't turn their hand that far though, so. You may have to figure another way out. You can't. That's all I got to show you. Okay. And that, in a nutshell, is the handsome boy. So, I'll give you a close-up view of everything. I don't know if I'm going to put my face on there or not, because <clears throat> it's over 10 minutes, and so is this. So, this probably won't make it on there either. But, here's his face. Legs. Stay there. Quit following me. Body. Everything. So, bye.